What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Currency Counts where I cover all things money. In today's video, we're gonna cover yet another FinTech checking account. Now, some of these checking accounts have really good features and are worth applying for. Is this one of them? Let's find out. Before we start, let me go over the loose definition of a FinTech bank. It's a virtual bank that all transactions are done through your provided debit card or through the app on your phone. And the card we're gonna be talking about today is called Current. Now let's see what makes this card stand out. So I'm here at their website, current.com, and it says, banking for modern life. Get paid up to two days faster, fee-free overdraft up to $100 with overdrive, no minimum balance or hidden fees. All right, I'm liking this so far. So right here again, it says fee-free overdraft up to $100, and there's a little asterisk next to it. We're gonna find out what that asterisk is. Get paid up to two days faster deposit money from your phone deposit checks easily using your phone's camera now this feature i like because there's a lot of other fintech banks that don't have this feature and usually the only way to deposit checks through your camera is with a traditional bank earn up to 15 points and get cash back 15 points when you swipe your card at participating merchants which can be redeemed for cash in your current premium account no minimum balance or hidden fees. This is something that's a trend with a lot of the fintech banks. They're not gonna charge you hidden fees or monthly fees. A lot of these traditional banks are gonna charge you anywhere from $4.99 all the way to $24.99 just to have that bank account open. So it's pretty simple to sign up. All you have to do down here is you're gonna enter your phone number and they're gonna send you a link. You click that link through your text, download the app. From there, you're gonna be able to actually sign up. You're just gonna need some basic information name, phone number, you're gonna have to enter your SSN, and then you're gonna have a free checking account. So there's two accounts for current. Well, there's actually three. There's the basic account, the premier account, and the teen account. But right now we're only gonna be going over the basic and the premier. So the main differences between the basic and the premier is the basics free, the premier is 499. With basic, you get a free white card, standard direct deposits, one savings pod, we'll get into a little bit more what a savings pod is, a budget for a single category of spending, spending insights, instant notification for purchases, and no overdrafts or hidden fees. Now on the instant notification for purchases, that's pretty standard. So with the premium, you get an exclusive premium card, which is this card right here, early access to direct deposit up to two days depending on your employer, three savings pods, budgets for each category of spending, gas station authorizations immediately created, we'll get into that a little bit more, and no overdraft or hidden fees and instant notification on purchases. So the main differences I see here, you get three savings pods, versus one on the Premier account, you get early access to direct deposit, but just about on any other checking account, including traditional checking accounts, you'll get up to two days of early access without having to spend the $4.99 on the premium account. The exclusive card, is it really exclusive? It's just a card, it's not even a, a middle card like some of the other fintechs do offer. A good feature that I see here is the gas station authorizations immediately credited. When you go to the gas station, they're gonna put a hold of 50, 60, even $70 on that purchase, even if you only put five, $10 of gas. They're gonna put a hold for a few days and then it'll drop off. But in that time that it's holding, you can't use that money that you do have in your bank account. With the Premier account, you get no hold. So if you put $10 of gas, you're only gonna be debited $10. But I have used other FinTech banks cards which are free to use, which also have this service. So let's get back into the savings pod. What is a savings pod? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like it's a savings pod. It's not a savings account. You're not gonna get any interest on it. Usually on savings accounts, average maybe one, 1.5% 1 interest. With this savings pod, you get 0% interest. So what would be beneficial of putting your savings into a savings pod versus a savings account? Nothing, nothing at all. If you have money to save and you don't wanna put it in the market, put it into a savings account, that has an APY, annual percentage yield, which is gonna be making you interest every year. So I'm gonna read all this fine print down here and see if there's anything we need to know. So I've gotten multiple comments on people saying, wow, this guy's just reading from the website. I feel this is a more efficient way of finding out about the card you're looking to get because you can put 
this on on your way to work or whatever it is and within a few minutes know everything you need to know about the card rather than doing all the research yourself. All right, first thing I see here, Current is a financial technology company, hence FinTech, not a bank. Banking service is provided by Choice Financial and Metropolitan Commercial Bank, members FDIC. What that means is your money's gonna be secured and your money's gonna be insured. All right, the next thing I see here is Overdrive is only available to current premium accounts and they require a deposit of $500 each month. And you can opt in for this feature yourself. You actually have to be notified that you do qualify and then you have the option to opt in. And your overdrive, overdraft limit is gonna start at $25 and then you can work your way up all the way to 100. So now let's go to the app to see some of the features of Current. All right, so we are here at Current. Let's go to card settings here. And I do have the Premier account. One thing I do like about this card that I'm surprised it's not a selling feature on their website is the virtual card feature. The virtual card is a one-time use card. If you have a subscription or a trial, you're not sure you wanna keep, you can use this virtual card one time and then you can dispose it. It's a one-time use card. So you are gonna have a daily ATM cash limit of 500 and a daily spending limit of 2000, which is really not a big deal unless you're gonna make a big purchase. So we go down here to the savings pod, what I was talking about. You can make up to three savings pods, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you just wanna save a little bit of money, if you're really not trying to build interest or anything, you wanna make sure you have three, 400 bucks, whatever it is. So you can make up to three of them if you have the Premier account or one if you have the basic account. So we're gonna go to money here. We can go to add and move money. Another feature of current is current pay which is kind of like a peer-to-peer, -peer, just like all the other FinTech cards out there. Okay, so right here next to cash at the bottom, there is this little point icon. It tells you right here on the left side how many points you have and then what you can redeem them for right here on the right side. So I have 10 points right now. So if you gather 5,000 points, you can redeem a Mr. Beast exclusive hoodie. Next to that, if you have 100 points, you can redeem $1 in cash, $10 in cash, all the way up to $100 for 10,000 points. Okay, so for 5,000 points, you can either redeem $50 of cash or a Mr. Beast hoodie. Which would you rather have? So this is another free feature. If you have 500 points, you can redeem one month's worth of the current premium. All the way up to 6,000 points, you can redeem one year of current premium. Okay, so the way it's gonna work is you're gonna have to view the offers in your current location. And for example, we're gonna go to Rome's Pizza here, view the offer, and it's gonna tell you right here how many points you're gonna earn per every dollar spent in the store. And then you can activate offer or you can decline it. So it won't be done automatically. You actually have to go in and activate the offer. So down here on your settings icon, you can go to funding sources where you would have another linked account where you can actually deposit cash or money into this account. So another thing you can do with your card is block brands. Now, what does that mean? So if you have a subscription, they keep on deducting money from your account even though you canceled your account. You have Amazon, Lyft, any subscription pretty much, all the big ones here, you can block. Right here, you can earn $1 for every invite, one dollar. I think we can do better than that. There's a ton of different FinTech checking account affiliate links that not one is under $30. There's one that's $100 right now. So one dollar, what's the incentive in that? The app here is easy enough to use, but really nothing special about it. All right, that's enough of that. So we've reached that part of the video. I rate the card we're reviewing from one to five stars, one being the worst, five being the best. Let's go over some of the pros and cons. The first pro being, if you want a free basic checking account, this would be something to look into. Also, the virtual card feature is not something that every FinTech card has. So this is definitely a big plus. Now let's get into some of the cons. The $4.99 premium account is a little bit overpriced and really doesn't have too much to offer. A lot of these features on the premium account you can get for free on different FinTech banking apps. The savings pod feature that earns no interest at all. They could have actually excluded that feature from the app because I don't consider it a feature at all. Also, the $1 referral bounty. Even if you're just sending it to friends and family, 
Who's gonna want to send this referral link for $1? There's way better ones out there. The fact that you actually have to go in and manually activate offer to earn points and that app feature being very clunky. Along with that, you have to let Current access your location at all times and able to be able to redeem points. There just isn't enough features to justify paying $4.99 for this premium account. I give this card, and don't hate me for this Current, two stars. So there it is, my current FinTech bank card review. But hold on, don't go yet. If you want a really good FinTech bank card and want to earn $75 when you deposit your first 200, check out the link in my description to sign up for Chime. With Chime, you can earn $75 once you hit your first $200 in direct deposit. Best part is Chime is free. You can even apply for a credit builder account for free. I like Chime so much, I even have the card myself. I even have two, so be sure and click the link in my description to earn $75. Thanks for watching, check you on the next one.